is really high, and I believe that um, they're taking their time, and I think that they should be getting vaccines to the people who need it quickly. Just look at these long lines here in Bushwick at one of three pop-up monkeypox vaccination sites open Sunday, where demand has far exceeded supply in the city. 9,200 appointments were filled in just seven minutes when new doses became available Friday night. Pretty much like it has been for everyone, a uh, disaster. <laughs> My friends are very upset about it. Uh, we've all waiting, hanging on for when the 1 p.m. starts or the 6 p.m. starts and we've all jumped on to sign on and watch the sites collapse and you know I've reached out many times to the health department to get response and don't get any. The city health commissioner gave a tour of the vaccination site at the Bushwick Education Center Sunday. The two other sites are at Bronx High School of Science and Aviation High School in Queens. New York City has become the epicenter of the monkeypox outbreak in the United States accounting for 30 percent of all cases. It is primarily impacting the LGBTQ plus community but medical experts say it could spread to anyone. This is not a sexually acquired disease, but that said, it requires close contact with somebody. So you could sleep in a bed with somebody and not have sex, but get it from sleeping in a bed with somebody from the bed clothes, the linens, or just the skin contact with that person. So, you, you know, it's not exactly sexually acquired. Uh, although close contact is required. And there is concern from some on these long lines that not everyone who needs the vaccine has access to getting that shot in the arm. I'm also concerned for people who don't have access to internet and who don't have great internet uh, connection or who are homeless, especially the LGBTQ plus community who are homeless and sex workers who are in need of this shot but probably don't have like easy access